With nearly six of every ten Bolivians living in poverty, development of new industry, such as lithium mining, is key. But what is the right way to do it? We're joined right now by an economist and lithium analyst, Juan Carlos Suleta. He has a master's in agricultural and applied economics from the University of Minnesota, and he is joining us now from La Paz, Bolivia. Juan Carlos, thanks so much for being with us. President Morales wants the industry, the lithium industry, to be developed by Bolivians versus outsiders. Is this realistic? Um, well, it, it was realistic when uh, the, uh, the announcement was first made in, uh, back in April uh, 2008. Uh, everybody thought that uh, this was realistic. Um, the, the thing is that um, uh, we, we have um, already uh, been through uh, the development of a pilot plant and it has taken, uh, to my uh, uh, opinion, in my opinion, uh, too long to develop. So um, one can think that uh, the government should uh, change a little bit in order to overcome uh, the problems uh, that it's facing right now in developing the pilot plant. Can Bolivia learn anything from its neighbor Chile? Well, Chile is the main producer of lithium in the world and we could uh, always learn from its experiences uh, but as you probably know, uh, we don't have the best relations with Chile, so that, that is a problem. Uh, but I mean, is there something that Bolivia is doing right, either from a technical perspective or a, a business relationship perspective that Bolivia could copy for its success? Not that I know of. Um, you know, relations with Chile have been um, rather secret. Uh, we don't really know what the government is negotiating right now with Chile. Uh, there are still some pending uh, problems, so we uh, we have no idea what the government is doing. More, uh, more in, in the sense of, that Chile uh, has allowed. Chile. More in the sense that Chile has allowed. For example, there is a, a company that is has a 30 percent is 30 percent held by the private equity firm. KKR, that is a big developer. Uh, there are sort of international investors that are developing and bringing this technology to the market. Uh, could, could you say that again? I didn't get you. Um, there are international developers. International money is permitted in Chile to develop the industry. I was just making a reference to that. But maybe we talk about what happens in Bolivia even after the lithium is mined. It still has to be developed into batteries. The idea is that electric car makers are interested in the products. Uh, are there engineering think tanks on the ground right now trying to figure out the best way to build batteries and the best way to market those to electric car makers? Well, uh, the electric uh, battery, well, the um, ba battery, uh, the lithium battery market as well as the electric car market are uh, fairly new markets. Uh, you know, there, there aren't too many experts uh, on these uh, matters. Uh, but um, of, of course, Bolivia has no, has no experts on, on this matter. But uh, I, I understand the government is making, is starting to make some effort in order to uh, find out a little bit more about these markets and, and to try to come up with a project that is um, uh, fairly feasible in the future okay. in terms both in terms of um, producing batteries and electric cars. Juan Carlos Suleta, we thank you very much.